Queen Soraya was born on the 24th of November 1899 in Damascus, Syria to Mahmoud Tazi and his wife Asma Rasmiya. She was educated early in her life by her father Mahmoud Tazi, known in the history of Afghanistan as the first person to take steps towards modernizing Afghanistan. She further pursued her studies in Syria, learning about the values of the modern world. In October of 1901, when King Habibullah came into power, Amongst his first edicts was to return all exiled Afghans which also brought the Tarzi family back to Afghanistan. Prince Amanullah Khan was very fond of Mahmoud Tarzi's liberal and modernized views and became his student when Tarzi would teach him of the broader and modern values of governance. During these encounters, the young prince also became acquainted with Suraya whom he was fond of and married her in 1913. When Prince Amanullah Khan became Amir in 1919, the Queen had a very important role in the modernization process of the nation. She was the pioneer of the literacy evolution in the country. The line by King Amanullah Khan, which stated, I am your king, but the minister of your education is my wife, Queen Suraya, confirms the important role that she played in the field of education. She also played a role model to the women of the country by appearing in all national and international events along with her husband. She also participated in cabinet meetings visiting tents of wounded soldiers in the battlefield during the War of Independence and promoting the value of education. Queen Suraya was also the first Muslim consort who appeared in public together with her husband as well as amongst the most influential women in the world at that time. Her foremost struggle was against the oppression of women in Afghan society and always called upon women to take part in the development of the nation as equal to the men of the nation. In 1926, at the seventh anniversary of independence from the British, Queen Suraya in a public speech delivered the following message. It belongs to all of us and that is why we celebrate it. Do you think, however, that our nation from the outset needs only men to serve it? Women should also take their part as women did in the early years of our nation and Islam. From their examples, we must learn that we must all contribute towards the development of our nation and this cannot be done without being equipped with knowledge. So we should all attempt to acquire as much knowledge as possible in order that we may render our services to society in the manner of the women of early Islam. Although the King and Queen were honoured and welcomed in Britain during their European visit of 1927 to 1928, the British secretly distributed pictures of Queen Surayal without her veil dining along with foreign delegates. This caused a large uproar amongst the conservative Muslims as well as some British-backed groups whom upon the King's return to Afghanistan protested against his rule.